If you think preparing for Afghanistan is just about firing weapons and IED awareness, think again. In Germany, members of 2-9 Armoured Engineer Squadron have been building bridges in Senelaga, working on both their construction and demolition skills ahead of Herrick 15. Carla Prater watched them at work. Big lift. Up. Building and demolishing. For 2-9 Armoured Engineer Squadron, it's all about big bangs and heavy metal. They've been training all week and there's not a Valon in sight. We have to divide our time reasonably uh, carefully uh, between being a soldier first, a sapper, which is a combat engineer second, so the bridging, the demolitions, uh, the water supply, and also thirdly, all of our, our people are also artisan or specialists, whether it be a plant operator, whether it be a design draftsman or whether it be a carpenter, everyone has those three trades and they take a lot of uh, time and effort to get to the right start standard for Afghanistan. Together with the rest of 3-5 Engineer Regiment, they're practicing their combat engineering skills for Herrick 15 by putting together a medium girder bridge. Today is 2-9 Squadron uh, building a 12-bay bridge. Most of the guys here have never built this uh, before and the section commanders have never been in command of this sort of bridge before. Okay, all we normally do is a single-storey bridge, so it's a training aid today. And later on tonight, we'll be doing full kit build as we would in Afghanistan. Building bridges, setting up sangers and securing a water supply. The construction tasks in theatre are vast. The most difficult thing is working together as a team, gelling and getting, getting the slickness of it there. but. Once, once you've done it a couple of times, it's all there, it all falls into place, so yeah. Um, it depends on your experience, but with um, experienced JNCOs, you haven't got a problem really. It's just getting the lads around it, everyone knowing the job, and then, and then getting, getting ready and getting, getting tired pretty fast. <laughs> when this bridge is complete, it can hold up to 85 tonnes. Now, normally, it takes just two hours to build, but tonight they'll have to do it all over again in the dark in preparation for how they'll be working when they're out in theatre. What goes up must also come down, and demolition training is a favourite part of the week. This is the effect of a bar mine with nine kilos worth of explosive. The kind of thing used to take down compound walls. In theatre, these engineers will support five rifles and QRH, but they'll also be mentoring Afghan engineers to help develop the country's infrastructure. No doubt a busy and a noisy tour ahead. Carla Prater, Forces News, Senalaga.